Uh, hi, ladies and gentlemen. Morning, Ray. I'm back here again. Uh, well, what can I say? It's video time again. Someone requested I do a video on Baron Samedi yesterday, so here we are. Keep in mind that I'm doing this because Baron Samedi also slightly appeals to me uh, based on the basic knowledge that I have on him, you know, as a human being that I've heard of him and as an occultist within my life. Um, but again, keep in mind that that doesn't mean that anytime someone requests that I do a video on a spirit, that means that I'm actually going to do it. As a matter of fact, I strongly suggest that you only request something like that if you really find it worthwhile. Because I'm definitely not going to do uh, spirit videos like I'm crazy every time someone uh, requests one. So it's not a, I'm not making a habit of it, to put it like that. So keep that in mind. In any case, uh, this video is going to be short, there's not a lot that I have to say. Uh, Baron Samedi is, um, is one of the voodoo gods, one of the Loa. Loa, or he's simply a spirit mentioned within the voodoo pantheon. Uh, I'm going to hover over to the wiki page, I'm going to navigate over to the wiki page, and I'm going to just go through the Wikipedia section. Uh, I'm also going to link that in the description of this video below so you guys can take a look at it for yourself, those of you that aren't familiar with Baron Samedi at all. And I'm also going to clarify some things, okay? Uh, this is going to be, the Wikipedia article is fairly short, so keep that in mind, okay? Um, but before I begin, just from the most basic of perspectives, okay, voodoo is uh, which origin originated i think in haiti but which uh, has a strong following cult following in haiti is simply a form of folk magic okay similar to the norse pantheon and uh, the greek pantheon and the roman pantheon the same way that these civilizations had their gods and goddesses their spirits that they worshipped and according to these to these, civil, to these followers, according to the people that made up this civilization, these gods were responsible for certain aspects of life or existence. Voodoo is similar to that, okay? Voodoo in that same fashion is simply a religion, okay, of the people, I wouldn't call them a civilization, but of the people that lived in, in these regions. We're talking about, generally speaking, certain parts of Africa, and Haiti, certain parts of the Caribbean, and so on. That's what voodoo is, generally speaking. <clears throat> it's similar to Christianity, similar to any pagan religion, okay? But, uh, but uh, it is uh, more paganish, okay? It's just an example. It is a religion at its core, based on my knowledge and experience, and so on. Very brief experience. In any case, let's get started. Baron Samedi, English, Baron Saturday, Samedi meaning Saturday, I don't know in what language exactly, I think French or something, but um, Baron Samedi in any case means, Samedi means Saturday, so his name is Baron Saturday. Also written Baron Samdi, Baron Bawon Samedi or Bawon Samdi is one of the Loa of Haiti and Voodoo. Samedi is a Loa of the dead along with Baron's numerous other incantations. Baron Cimitier, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, this is French since Haiti used to be a French colony, Baron Lacroix, uh, Baron Criminel. He is synchronized with Saint Martin de Foray. He is the head of the Gede family of Loa. His wife is the Loa Maman Brigitte. I need to specify that Loa, roughly translated, simply means spirit, okay? Within the Voodoo Pantheon, you have Radha Loas and Petro Loas. These are um, malevolent spirits and generally speaking good spirits, benevolent ones. Uh, portrayal, he's usually depicted with a top hat, black tail coat, dark glasses and cotton plugs in the nostrils, as if to resemble a corpse dressed and prepared for burial in the Haitian style. He's frequently depicted as a skeleton but sometimes as a black man that merely has his face painted as a skull and speaks in a nasal voice. The former president for life of Haiti, Francois Duvalier, modeled his cult of personality on Baron Samedi. He was often seen speaking in a deep nasal tone and wearing dark glasses. He is noted for disruption, obscenity, debauchery, and having a particular fondness for tobacco and rum. Additionally, he is the law of resurrection and in the latter capacity is often called upon for healing by those near or approaching death, as it is only the baron that can accept an individual into the realm of the dead. 
But on some end, he spends most of his time in the invisible realm of voodoo spirits. He's notorious for his outrageous behavior, swearing continuously and making filthy jokes to the other spirits. He's married to another powerful spirit known as Maman Briki, but often chases after mortal women. He loves smoking and drinking and is rarely seen without a cigar in his mouth or a glass of rum in his bony fingers. But on some end, he can usually be found at the crossroads between the worlds of the living and the dead. When someone dies, he digs their grave and greets their soul after they've been buried, leading them into the underworld or leading them to the underworld. Connection to other Loas. Baron Samedi is the leader of the Gede Loa. He, he's the, sorry, um, he's, Baron Samedi is the leader of the Gede, comma, Loa with particular links to magic, ancestor worship and death. These lesser spirits are dressed like the Baron and are as rude and crude but not nearly as charming as their master. They help carry the death to the underworld. Activities, as well as being master of the dead, Baron Samedi is also a giver of life. He can cure any mortal of any disease or wound if he thinks it's worthwhile. His powers are especially great when it comes to voodoo curses and black magic. Even if someone, somebody has been afflicted by a hex that brings them to the verge of death, they will not die if the Baron refuses to dig their grave. So long as this mighty spirit keeps them out of the ground, they are safe. He also ensures that all corpses rot in the ground to stop any soul from being brought back as a brainless zombie. What he demands in return depends on his mood. Sometimes he's content with his followers wearing black, white or purple clothes or using sacred objects. He may simply ask for a small gift of cigars, rum, black coffee, grilled peanuts or bread. But sometimes the Baron requires a voodoo ceremony to help him cross over into this world. And that is all, okay? Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to say that this Wikipedia ar article obviously has been written. It hasn't been written from a neutral perspective, okay? This video Wikipedia article has been written by someone or edited by someone. That uh, by a... It might, it might very well be a follower of Baron Samedi. In any case, someone that's very knowledgeable at least on the subject matter from the perspective of a follower. Because that's how this article comes off. It doesn't come off as someone who is in a neutral position writing it. It comes off as if someone that that works with Baron Samedi itself, okay, uh, has written or uh, modified this article. Not that I have a problem with that, but it automatically lists his activities and his abilities and what he looks like, his appearance, almost as if it's a short thing. And in any case, the information that I just conveyed to you guys, okay, the information that I just read out loud, some of it is incorrect. Baron Samedi is basically the voodoo equivalent of um, Hades, of, of the Greek god Hades, of um, Thingy Q, of, <coughs> of um, what's her name again? I can't put my, my finger on her. Hakati, and so on, okay. Uh, he's basically the voodoo, he is the voodoo god of death, to put it that way, death and fertility, that's his official idiom, that's his official, his official header, loa of death and fertility, okay, so according to them, he deals with death, he deals with helping others cross over into the dead, so you immediately link him with Saturn, that's how it comes off, he comes off as a Saturnian spirit, based on his, uh, his description. Well, but that is not the case. I'm not going to lie to you guys, okay? So, in any case, I'm going to shed light on this and what Baron Samedi is really like and what his attributes are. Let's start off with attributes. Baron Samedi is a lunar spirit, okay? He corresponds to 7 degrees in Cancer. And uh, that 7 degrees uh, stands for overbearingness, okay? So, that article, the information in it is partially correct, okay? Baron Samedi, uh, his appearance is correct. He appears as a, a, just a black man with, uh, with a smiling and grinning face, you know. People that, that just think of the movie Saw and the doll, basically, the Saw doll that makes that noise. <laughs> That's what Baron Samedi looks like, but obviously a Negro version, so a black man's version. He constantly keeps doing this, too. Okay, he keeps grinning, showing a gigantic mischievous grin. And he's also a trickster, he has told me, okay, because he's made jokes with me, almost to mislead me. But that he, he just means that in a joking way. He's not literally misleading me, okay, um, because first his reaction was like, I'm Saturnian. No, I'm Mercurio. No, I'm this, I'm that. 
he, 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 you'll see for yourself what I am, you know enough. And uh, yeah, so that part of the article is correct, okay? Barang Samedi is a joker and a trickster. And uh, his appearance is also correct. But uh, the, the, the information that he is the god of death and fertility is not so correct, okay? It would immediately let you know that he's basically master of the dead. And again, like all other pagan gods, Barang Samedi and uh, the gods mentioned in the Voodoo Pantheon are thought forms, okay? They're simply spirits that were created either intentionally or unintentionally by uh, the people that worship them. Those same people created him and, or created them, okay? In any case, <coughs> Barang Samedi is lunar, 7 degrees in Cancer. And it stands for overbearingness, okay? His appearance is correct. Uh, he appears as a... Uh, a black man wearing a top hat and dressed in a nice suit uh, comprised of several colors, black and white generally. The purple is also acceptable and or correct. He does have a mischievous grin about him, so he comes off as um, not malevolent, but more of a trickster, similar to the, the Norse god Loki. You know, Loki can also be a trickster, but he is his description is correct. Okay, uh, Baran Samedi is indeed the... Um, you know, a trickster, and will make jokes and so on. Although he hasn't swore, okay, he hasn't used any kind of profanities with me, okay. He didn't swear when being with me and so on. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, he's letting me know too that he can do so, but he didn't just he didn't see the need to do so with me, okay. Uh, I'm better than that, so no. In any case, uh, yeah, he's lunar. Um, he's lunar. Period. So no Saturnian or anything like that. I thought perhaps maybe Mercurial too, like he said, but no. And in terms of what Baron Samedi has to offer, okay, Baron Samedi offers things on a day-to-day -day basis, things that deal with everyday life. So it doesn't matter what you want, whether you want a better job, you want more money, or it doesn't matter what you want, okay, you want to become more charming, it does not matter. But on some deals with all things that deal with daily life, okay? That's unsurprising as a lunar spirit since a lot of lunar spirits deal with this too. They can provide you with this. All the other spirits that I've worked with in the past, a good deal of them at least, that are lunar, are capable of granting you other things too. Um, so yeah, Baron Samedi also has some clairvoyant potential, but that's not a specialty, okay? Um, that's not a specialty, now. Okay, but you can still ask him for that nevertheless, okay, for anything relating to clairvoyance. In any case, for the rest, what he offers as a uh, specific trait, like I said, nothing specific. Just everyday dealings and the way that he'll go to work is uh, in a perfectionist kind of way. I do need to grant Baran Samedi that, okay. Baran Samedi is a perfectionist. He will strive to not overlook the smallest of details, okay. He'll really, if you ask him to help you with something, He'll try to do it as perfectly as possible, okay? As precise and as detailed. He'll go to work as detail conscious as possible, to put it that way. And for the rest, he's just a straightforward person, you know? He's not someone that asks too many questions, okay? He's more militant uh, in that regard. He is uh, just uh, the kind of the strong, silent type, to put it like that, when it comes to working. He just does what he's asked and asks little to no questions in generally in most cases or generally speaking um and like i said the only drawback is his overbearing nature okay so working with him and working with him you'll definitely notice that he can be overbearing uh he can be overbearing yeah he can be overbearing and he can be forceful okay in doing so so don't be surprised if if you do work with him that you know that that you, you might encounter small misfortunes or you might encounter semi-hostile behavior from from him okay behavior that literally just comes off as forceful or annoying even but that is it that's pretty much on it okay even as we're speaking right now i um i can feel his energy just just um pulsating through me so semi burning energy um, and for the rest it makes you kind of nauseous okay while I was talking just now I became kind of nauseous and I was like whoa 
something that I didn't notice in the beginning, okay? But this isn't the first time that I've had, I've experienced this. There was one other spirit that I can recall, but I, I, I forgot his name. It also made me feel this way. It was also a pagan god, and I got nauseous after 5 or 10 minutes, and I was like, eh. Again, not so nauseous to the point where, where you know, where I seriously feel bad. I just feel slightly nauseous. And that's just in Baro Samedi's nature. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the rest, okay? That's pretty much it on Baron Samedi. There is nothing else really that he offers or any other information that I can convey. This is the way I usually work. So to summarize, okay, appearance is correct uh, regarding the article that I read before or that I read out loud before. Appearance is correct. Um, information is partially correct. Uh, he is... Um, Okay, it's partially correct in the sense that dealings with the dead and so on are not so much correct. You can ask him for that, but it's not necessarily a specialty. He has no specialty. Uh, in any case, it's seven degrees in Cancer. He corresponds to the moon. Okay, he falls under the moon as a planet. Uh, seven degrees in Cancer, uh, key word is overbearingness, which he is. He is overbearing and he does come off as annoying and... You know, that friend that you have that makes rude jokes and that constantly can be a nuisance, that can near constantly be a nuisance. And in terms of what he offers, he offers uh, help in everyday matters, okay? Uh, but like I said, the overbearingness comes into play. He is semi-aggressive in doing so. And the upside is that he is very precise, detail conscious and a perfectionist if you do decide to work with him. Um, so that is all. Thanks for watching. Bye.